Yeah, I'm sticking to my guns on this one. Upper left, bottom right, bottom left, upper right. I got it covered. Ready? So I'll be honest. I thought the series should have ended at uh, Rockman and Fortnite, which, by the way, is actually really high on my list of favorite games for the series. Which is, you know, goes to show that I have terrible tastes in Mega Man games, obviously. I mean, Rockman and Forte, Mega Man World 2, Rockman and Forte on the Wonder Swan. I even like the US PC games, oh my gosh. I love the fact that Roll can just bust right through the shields of these enemies. As I said, easy mode. Bonk. Anyway. I thought the series should have ended at Rockman Forte, maybe the Power Fighters. Or honestly Rockman Forte Wonderswan. I didn't think it was that bad a game. And I like the fact that it, you know, references my favorite Game Boy game. That is a tight jump. I was playing around with Gutsman one day, and I was, you know, doing some... Hey look, a baton Tom! Anyway... Stop. No, 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 stop that. When I was playing around with Gutsman, doing some test recordings, I couldn't figure out that jump at all. It baffled me. But yes, I think the series should have ended at Rockman and Forte, Rockman and Forte, Wonder Swan, one of the other. Oh my gosh! Ready? Clever girl. I get to do this part again. Wasn't I stuck here during my other playthrough? Well, hopefully I've gotten a little better since then. Stop doing that! So when Mega Man 9 came out, I was like, oh, that's neat! And it looks it's even like retro and, and cool. Hey, don't do that. When Mega Man 10 came out, I was actually a little more excited for it because it looked, it looked better. It looked neater. But, you know, I was still like, well, you know, the series ends with Rockman of Forte for me. And it always will. And then I saw Mega Man 10. And let me tell you, or Mega Man 11, excuse me. I saw Mega Man 11. And to be honest, I didn't know I wanted a Mega Man 11 until I saw that trailer. <laughs> I definitely want this game. And I would gladly accept that into my personal timeline. Even though my personal timeline technically includes those games in the uh, Hey, men only! Go home before you get hurt. Get a hold of yourself! You're bothering other people, you know! You're making me mad! Hey, there's work to be done around. Uh, oh, alright, Missy. I'll forgive you. Ready! I'll forgive you with rocks! <laughs> Let's see if I remember correctly. Now, how do I avoid this? Ah! Certainly not like that. Okay. Gutsman, stop being so dirty. I don't remember Gutsman being this hard. Ready? Well, I've got full life energy now, so maybe. I have an idea of how he works now. Sort of. Warning. 
See, I, I, I keep saying, you know, I don't include this game, I don't include that game in my personal timeline. I knew, I knew better. Wow. Wow. I've got the guts. Well, well. Looks like we're doing that stage over. Ready? But yeah, I'd, you know, say I don't include this game or that game in my personal timeline. But when I write the Mega Man fan fiction stories, I reference those events. Like, I think in one of my stories, I specifically referenced the Roboenza uh, outbreak. Oh, excuse me, Robotanza. Oh! And that was... that was a stutter. Such are the whim such is the whimsy of emulation. That's not bad, though. But yeah, I guess I do kind of include them. Not in my personal timeline, but if I'm like making a story and whatnot, then yeah. Include stuff like that. For the sake of other people, I guess you'd say. But it's, you know, it's not shoehorned in or anything. And I don't have to work that hard to, you know, make it work, so... I don't think I'm talking about it anymore. I'm tempted to attempt to get that life, but I'm afraid that the uh, players wouldn't cooperate with me. If I was playing as Fireman, or even Mega Man with Firestorm, I could get that thing. Ah, never mind. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's see if we can actually survive. I don't think so. Ow. Cripes! I was never any good at this on the NES, and I'm not good at it here. Oh, uh, Oh, man. That was alarming. I refuse to lose. That actually was not my worst time. You worked hard. Yeah, we've heard you before. So, what's next? Oh, and... I... Oops. Wrong costume. I may have unlocked everybody. And by the way, I unlocked Proto Man through challenge mode. I did not get the final data. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Well, well, well. Let's go with Valentine, though. And those of you who know... Well, it's kind of obvious with the pattern that I go. If it's upright, down, left, or if it's up left, down right, down left, down right, then obviously, I'm going to elect man stage. No. Stop and freeze! Ready? Oh. 
course, it doesn't matter how. That is a massive thing. So I don't remember. Nope. No water physics in this game. You're just underwater. That makes no difference whatsoever. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I forgot about the slip sliding thing. So yes, everything that isn't underwater in this stage... ...and isn't popping rock... ...is quite slip, and isn't a special block, I guess I should say. Isn't an active object block. By the way, if you're curious, yes, she can take care of those. Well, Heat Man stays the same, so. But you gotta be quick. Ah! Right, right, right. They kind of bounce around randomly. That was a mistake and a half. Uh... Ready? Big mistakes have been made. I wish I could get that one up. I really do. I said the RNG will throw you a bomb, but. That only really applies to weapon energy, or life energy and weapon energy. It doesn't generally give you a one up. Which is sad, because I could definitely use one or two. I suppose I could have just enabled cheats, but it was fun in that. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't even. So, you know, even if we actually get to Iceman, which is laughable right now with the way I'm playing. Come on, stop hiccuping. The computer's not that old. So even if we get the ice, man, this could go horribly. I mean, you can stop that any time. Right? By the way, I just want to point out that's mostly there for Fireman. Because there's no reason for that to be in this stage otherwise. Well, the good news is that it's not as bad as the Mega Man 1 before all the section. That's okay. It's okay because I can only go up from here. Oh, 
You know, it seems like an odd time to point this out, but I completely forgot to mention this earlier. And it's probably really obvious by this point, but <laughs> this is a full remake of Mega Man, uh, Mega Man 1. With more characters, two additional levels, remix content, etc, etc. Now one thing that they could have done that they didn't was include the uh, unused boss character of Bond Man, which you know means bonding agent. I'm just, I'm just making this more confused again, aren't I? It's basically glue. He's a glue man. When asked why they didn't include glue man. I think the answer was basically, you know, well, we wanted to do something original. See, we're already there. Everything's gonna be okay. Maybe. You know, unless I slip off. And I don't mean slip like ice, I mean like, just the normal physics. Oh boy. I might need that large life energy now. Large! Ah, forget it. I'll be fine. Oh yeah, one thing I didn't mention, which again I think is obvious at this point, the other characters don't get extra weapons. You have one weapon with them, and that's all. Oh uh, no! of my past playthrough are coming back in full swing. I don't want to be stuck here. I don't want to be stuck in this level no more. I hate footholders. I'm actually kind of okay with the appearing blocks, but then I like footholders. Now you're just being cruel. Go up, please. Go up, please. Do it. The other one can stay right where it is, I don't really care. I think this is actually worse than the one in the NES. I really do. Because I think the footholders were a little more predictable on the NES. Don't quote me on that. Oh, this is taking a while. I'll fall asleep any minute. Well, thank goodness that's over. It is over, right? Uh, okay, well. 
I need life energy real bad. Oh, please cooperate with me. Please cooperate with me. Please. I don't want to get in point blank with Iceman. Iceman's not a good man. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Reckless. Dead. Stop and freeze. I could have beaten him. Ready? Uh, well, okay, so. Well, then I don't have to uh, concentrate as hard. I can tell you that in the Japanese version of this game, Iceman doesn't have, like, a split personality thing. If I remember correctly, and feel free to correct me on this, I think Iceman just refers to himself in third person. But somehow, when they were, you know, translating this game, they were like, nah, let's have a, like, a split personality instead. Now, while the characters to talk in third person, you would think that, you know, it'd be a lech planet, right? But, no, it was Iceman. At least, that's what I recall hearing or reading somewhere. So again, if I'm wrong, I apologize. It's just, uh... All those weird lost in translation sort of things, I guess. Okay! Okay! <gasps> oh, what up? <gasps> what are the odds of that? I don't remember. Pretty high, though. Pretty low, rather. Probably could have made that jump. Paranoid. Yeah. Oh, come on! You all saw what happened. Everything was perfectly aligned, too. Yeah, I was complaining about the slippery. But you know what? Mega Man 1 and 2 had slippery controls, too, come to think of it. Mistakes! Ready? So there's actually a practical reason I don't want to be stuck in this stage. Or any stage, really. Ready? 
Yeah, I have a finite hard drive space. <laughs> As most people do. And I'd rather not split this into two recordings if I can avoid it. But I mean, that doesn't mean anything to you, the viewers. Uh, okay, well... Can we just skip this stage? That'd be great. Go over to my completed playthrough. <laughs> You're like, nah, look guys, I beat the stage. At some point. Magnet me right now. Okay. This is just getting depressing. And it was this stage I was stuck on last time, too, for the exact same reasons. Forgetting to mention this, but this game actually seems to take us a little nod from uh, Mega Man World 2. Because when you collect uh, an energy capsule, it just refills and you keep moving. The action doesn't pause at all. I'm sure you noticed that by now. It's very much unlike, you know, the NES game. Cooperate with me here, please, please, please. Risky, don't know why I did that. It paid off, but. <laughs> I don't care that I took the hit. I'm at the end of the level. I have two lives. I can do this. Of racing a mile in My voice is getting a little weird. Warning. Somebody's knocking about a lot. Let's be a little less uh, reckless, shall we? Or at least attempt to be less reckless. So much for that. Oh, 
Oh, man. I've never been happier to be out of that level. And I actually came kind of close to my record time, too. You worked hard. Alright, what's next? How about you? <laughs> 